Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. So this is for any significant Pisces placements in your chart. You may get a message through the reading. Um, check other videos on the channel if you feel drawn to an image or a title. It probably the, the video probably holds a message for you as well. So feel free to check that out. Explore Two of Swords, okay? Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Nine of Wands, okay? And thank you to everyone who has. I really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. Strength. It feels like someone's trying to get you to change your mind about something and you're not having it. Okay, it could be a side message or what you could be feeling right now watching this video. Okay. And if you're interested in reading for readings for all the signs, I do that on my main channel, Advice to Think Twice, linked below. All right, let's just jump in here. I don't like doing intro either, uh, <laughs> intros uh, either, you guys, but if anyone's new, you know, it's nice to tell them what's going on, who you are, what you're doing. So if you're new, hi, and I hope the intro was helpful for you. The devil, oh, that's why you're not having it. All right, Pisces, let's let's jump in here because temperance. What? Okay, I'm just channeling at this point. Um, just going off the random cards, and we'll see if the messages repeat themselves. But you made a healthy choice for yourself, Pisces, recently or further back. You made a healthy choice, which involves walking away from something or someone. And that was the healthy choice to do, okay, to make the right thing to do for yourself. Um, this person or situation is trying to come back around in your life somehow and almost force your hand to change your mind to take them back or to go back, okay? And you're standing very strong in saying, no, thank you. I said no before. It's still a no. That's, that's a hard pass. Stop pushing because I can, you know, I can be less nice. Oh, who's got your feisty Pisces? All right, what's going on for Pisces today? What's going on for Pisces today? Okay. I just get that would be a no. <laughs> Very uh, sassy energy coming off of you, right? Like that would be a no, but thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. Good for you. <laughs> Oh man, five of wands, yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. You're just not having a Pisces. You're like, just listen, just know, just, just know, I don't know, okay? And I feel like someone's tr really trying to push. Someone's being insistent because I don't think they've seen um, a less than unconditional love and unconditional kindness face of you, of you, right, side of you. They only know the unconditional loving Pisces and the eternally patient and eternally understanding. So they think they can keep pushing because eventually you'll give in, right? And I feel like that's what is getting you all sassy. Like, listen, it's a no. You can respect that I said no, or you can keep pushing and see what happens, you know? I think Mars has just gone into Cancer. So um, yeah, people are gonna have a short fuse. So just be careful with that. Although if someone's gonna be pushing your buttons this hard, you know, you might as well push some buttons back, but it's up to you. It's up to you. Sometimes you gotta give people a little sass. Sometimes you gotta give them a taste of their own medicine just so that they get what they're doing, you know? So it's up to you and how you wanna handle your own situation. Ace of Swords, communication, truth, clarity. The challenge is the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone's trying to change the fact that there has been no contact, no communication because this adds up to the Five of Swords. But the way they're going about it is forceful. The way they're going about it is slightly disrespectful. Um, this might be a situation where you never told them what your boundaries were. Maybe you didn't have boundaries with this person or in this situation, so they don't know, right? But you are expressing boundaries. You have expressed boundaries recently with them because I feel like, again, this is something you've already said no to. You've already walked away from, so that was a boundary and you made it very clear. So now it's a case of why are you pushing it? Why are you testing that boundary when I made it very clear? That's where you have a problem, a problem, right? And the foundation, the king of coins, Taurus, we were Capricorn energy. This could be the person you walked away from. This could be the situation you walked away from. Um, and this is this is what, what it's about. This is the person trying to come back or come back around. Recently, yeah, you have the three of coins. I feel like this is 
this was a an, uh, an invitation or an opportunity let's get together let's talk let's collaborate let's exchange ideas let's exchange whatever okay in the recent past here coming from this person you know uh, let's you know let's see if you can reconsider walking away let's see if you can reconsider handing in your notice um, try this project you can lead this project you can be the team leader here you know they they made some sort of an offer and you're like no i'm good thanks i made up my mind ace of swords it's done on the mind we have the nine of cups yeah definitely you are completely at ease and at peace with your decision because you know it's the best decision for you you know your fulfillment is not in this situation or with this person you want something and someone that's going to be on your level something that will give to you as you give to it okay so what's happening today the eight of wands here's that communication the five of cups because they're feeling left out and the four of coins because you're closed off to them you've taken back your support you've taken back your money you've taken back your love you've taken back your friendship you're just very firm in your boundaries with this person I also feel like this is someone who cannot get over the fact that you did not take them up on their invitation or when they reached out to you you didn't lose your freaking mind and were like oh my god this is the best thing in my life and you were like no thank you you know this is someone who's having a very big reality check or who has had a very big reality reality check and it's almost like they're refusing to accept that that is reality you know what do you mean Pisces doesn't want to be here? What do you mean Pisces doesn't want to be with me? What do you mean Pisces doesn't want what I'm offering? Right? And I feel like they've explained it to themselves in so many different ways, but it still doesn't add up, right? Like Pisces is playing games or Pisces is, this is a negotiation tactic or, you know, Pisces wants more money and stuff. So they've, they're negotiating with me. They're playing silent tactics here, you know, or... Pisces is playing hard to get. And th so they've explained those things. They've given themselves those explanations for why you, j you just said no, thank you. Um, but it still doesn't add up because it's like, then it's like, well, why aren't they making a move then? I made my move. Why are they not making a move, right? If this is a game. So it's like, well, what if it's not a game? What the hell is happening here? Are they really leaving? You know, this is what I'm feeling coming off of this person, whoever they may be in your life. So what else is going to happen here for Pisces? The Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Temperance. Yeah, let's get back together. Let's make peace. Let's be a happy family again. Let's, you know, be a happy couple again. Let's go back to the good old days. Throwing everything at you but the kitchen sink. Romance or trying to romanticize, seduce, tempt. You know, get back into your heart, basically. And you're like, no thanks, I'm good. <laughs> oh my God, Pisces. Okay, what else? Where is this gonna go? Look, yeah, Four of Cups, the High Priestess, Eight of Swords, no thank you. I do not wanna think about this. I do not wanna rethink anything. I've done that, get into my decision, making up my mind. Once my, made, my mind was made up, that is it. Okay, what you're offering isn't good enough, I'm sorry. You might be a little blunt with this person with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Cups, but listen, like I say, sometimes blunt is the way to go. I mean, be mindful that you're not intentionally like doing overkill on being hurtful with this person. Just because, you know, karma and I don't know, you'll do whatever you think you feel is best uh, on how to reach this person, but you're very calm, you're very peaceful with the High Priestess. You see things for exactly what they are. I also get the sense that whatever this person's offering, again, there's something still not quite right with it. There's something still hidden there and you pick up on it. So with the Eight of Swords, you're like, no, I don't want to see you. No, I don't want to talk. No, I don't want to. No, just no. Okay. How is this going to end? How is this going to Okay, yeah, well, how is this going to end? The Tower, the Emperor, the Three of Swords. Well, whoever this is is going to walk away completely shocked and heartbroken. But like I was saying, what goes around comes around. Whatever they did to you, they're getting a taste of it. They're getting a taste of their own medicine. And it completely blows their mind with the Tower. But that's their journey, their lessons, and whatever they need to deal with. And then what, what about Pisces? 
yeah judgment seven of swords queen of swords you're like yeah this is the best decision i know this is the best decision because you're coming back and you're still not upfront. you're still not honest you're still scheming you're still strategizing you're still not just 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 a genuine person and where before I may have made excuses for that, right now with the Queen of Swords and the Judgment card and the High Priestess, I see it for what it is, I call it for what it is, and I say, no, thank you, I do not want that in my life, I don't care who you are and how I feel about you or what you're offering. You're very, very clear, Pisces, that this is not happening. We're not doing this. Yeah, three of wands. I've already turned my back. I'm done with this. I'm not going back. Why would I go back to a place where I felt stuck, stagnant? I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going to happen next. You kept me guessing. You made me feel less than. You didn't, you know, you know what I mean? Hot and cold behavior. Half truths, lying by omission. Making decisions for you like, well, Pisces doesn't really need to know that, so I won't tell them that. Well, no. You know what I mean? It took you a while to get to this point of clarity and complete peace with, no, this isn't good, this isn't right, this isn't what I want for myself. And I, you're not going back, Pisces, you're not going back. Okay, where is Pisces headed from this? Where is Pisces headed from this? The Fool, well, yeah. The Nine of Swords, the Queen of Wands, what else? And the Knight of Coins. Well, you're leaving this behind with the fool. You're happy. A burden is lifted. There's no more. This was a source of stress, worry, anxiety in your life, everything I just said. So you're leaving that behind. With the Queen of Wands and Knight of Coins, you're going to be focused on yourself, Pisces. You're going to work on yourself, mental, body, spiritual, emotional self. Focus on your career. Focus on your business. Focus on your personal goals, your passions in life. Okay. Okay. And you got good things coming. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Okay? So, Pisces, I hope this resonates with you. And if you're dealing with the situation, I hope this helps you. Uh, it's, it's a bit intense. I think I just bumped my mic. It's a bit intense. But um, you're, just, you're just chill. <laughs> Queen of Swords, the High Priestess. You're just chill. Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords. I know this is the truth of the matter. I have no doubt. I have no hesitation. I have no fear. I have no what ifs. Just know. Just, just know, okay? Get it and move on. Get it and leave me alone. Get it and lose my number. There's no hard feelings. There's no, you know what I mean? It's just no. I can't trust you. You're disrespectful. You don't value me. You don't see me. You don't appreciate me. I have no doubt in my head that that's not right, okay? Or in my heart. And I have no desire to make excuses for anyone any anymore right i know who i am i know my worth i know what i deserve you get one chance you already blew that they did a number on you not only did they blow it they may have blown it several several times but they're used to the second the second chances you know where they just keep coming they're just used to that like pisces doesn't have boundaries pisces doesn't have limits pisces doesn't have self-worth and self-respect right if, whether they think in those terms or not but that's what their behavior is saying, right? Or was saying when you're d dealing with them. They don't know the side of you, Pisces. They do not know the side of you, but they're about to find out. They're about to find out. But I'm loving this energy. I'm absolutely loving it. I live, I live for it, okay, right now, because it's like, no, thank you. Mm -mm. That's not good enough, sorry. No, thank you. And if they push... And it turns into that five of swords, five of wands energy. You're, you're, they're about to see some sass coming off of Pisces. And what you say is the truth. And it will hit them hard. But it's the truth. And I feel like that's where you are. It's the truth. Did I say something wrong? No. And they're going to have their mind blown. Like, oh my God, how can you be so mean and so hurtful? And you're like, no, I think what you mean is unemotional. There is no meanness. There is no hurtfulness. There is no, it's just unemotional truth. That's what you mean. That's what it says. Do you ever do that, Pisces? I do that sometimes. I haven't done it in a while. I choose to be a peaceful person. I choose to resolve conflict or avoid it if we can and just have a normal adult conversation about things. But I have found myself in situations where 
I said, listen, we both know that's not the truth. So let's just leave it there. And then if they insist, I'd be like, okay, well, since you pushed it, this is what I know has been going on. And then you just lay it down to where you just, they're just, they're just mind blown whoever you're talking to because they cannot believe that you saw everything, you picked up on everything, but you didn't say it, right? They, but they cannot believe that they, they were not getting away with anything when it comes to you, Pisces. And I feel like that's the kind of situation that could be happening here. So Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Enjoy your sass. <laughs> Um, it's, it's a fun attitude sometimes, I suppose. You decide how far you take it. Well, it depends on this person, how far they take it. Um, but, um, yeah, you've got better things to focus on. You've got better places to be, better people to meet, better things to do. And that's your focus. That is your focus. Okay. And it's just going up from there. It's like, you're going to be a magnet for abundance and a magnet abundance for you know, all kinds of abundance, the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Coins, and it, the, the solid kind, the kind that sticks around, the kind that grows. No more of this fleeting in and out behavior, okay? So Pisces, I will leave it there, and I hope this helps, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye for now.